Good morning, Pisces, and happy Easter. Happy Easter and good morning. I hope and pray that you woke up this morning, that you pray before, as soon as you open up your eyes and you give thanks for everything you got. I also pray that um, everything you want and every, everything you have and everything you want, you can get. Um, and for those who are going through whatever they're going through in their life today, I hope that you woke up feeling better. Last night was the pink moon. And let me tell you something. How about as soon as I got done doing this um, quick um, live reading, I went outside and it was right there, biggest day. And then it started pouring out raining and then it was lightning and everything. I was like, wow, it was overwhelming. I tried to take more pictures, but then it went away. So that just shows you how powerful God is and how he listens to everything you say. And it ain't nothing that you can say that he don't hear. Believe me, he does. And that rain was just hit me and it felt so good. It really did. Um, I just hope and pray that everyone is in a better place. And don't let no one come between your happiness. That means your happiness. Not the happiness between you and someone else. Your own happiness. That's what counts. Is your happiness. And um, try to change the way you see things. And um, the life can be different. And when you want happiness, you want to see and hear happiness around you. When you around negativity, that's what you attract. So, um, I know that, you know, you like listening to about love and this and that, but start trying to really listen about your happiness and not so much about your love. Listen about you. You know what I mean? Take notes about your life and stop wanting and wishing Everything else, get to really love yourself and change will come. Okay. Um, you know, I know that a lot of Pisces, um, they love hearing about love readings and this and that, who's coming, who's there, and all this and that. But life is life, and I want to love myself. I want to know where I'm at. And everything else will fall into place. I don't want to ask and keep asking, bring this, and bring that. No, I want to bring me into me. And that's what you need to focus on. You need to focus on you into you and not you into someone else because God will give you that someone else, but you need to be into you and really clear everything around you. Do you understand? You need to be into you. And that's the most important thing in the world is you. It's not who you going to be with, who you going to marry. No, it's about you. At the end of the day, it's about you. I don't have a problem living alone. I don't have a problem being alone. I don't have a problem not having nobody around me, friends, family. I'm, you know, people probably think, damn, she's too much. No, I'm not too much. I'm straight up. I'm straight up. It's like having a straight up drink without no water chasing it, without no ice on it. I'm straight up. Straight up, because I know that love can harm the heart. And I know that people can do damage. So I learned that it takes a one of a kind to be with a woman like me. And it's going to take someone very special to be with me. And I got whatever, whether it's coming or not, it doesn't even matter. I'm into me. And I finally got to know who I am and how much I love myself. And you need to do the same. Why don't you turn your eyes on you? Why don't you just get to know you and build you? Ground up, solid as a rock. Build yourself up. Don't worry about what is and what you don't want. Worry about you. And love yourself within. Don't act like you love yourself outside of you. And inside you torn apart. Love yourself inside of you. So that the outside can show so softly around you. 
And that's what it's about. It's about change. And no regrets. All right? Um, you don't try to do wrong with wrong. You don't. If someone did wrong, did you wrong in a relationship, don't try to do wrong with wrong. Don't, don't try to be somebody that you are happy because you got the upper hand or you want to treat somebody like they're nothing. You know what I mean? Let me tell you something. Sometimes it's better than to say nothing than to say something. Okay? Your actions speak louder than your words. And that's all I got to say. All right? Um, you the best, Pisces. That's all I got to say. You the best. And anybody that coming to my YouTube Pisces studio, remember, we are my, I have the school of hard knocks here. And if you don't want to hear the truth, then I'm not for you. Okay? But if you want to grow within yourself, then come into this um, military of school of hard knocks. And I promise you, by the time I get done with you, you will be strong as you know what. Okay? So, thank you for all those who like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for all those who um, get private readings and donate to my channel. And thank you for all those who go to my web and purchase my candles. Okay? This is my abundance and uh, health and abundance. And this is my self-love candle. You can order whatever one you want. But that's the one I use. And I'm not wearing earrings because my ears are swollen. I think I pulled one of my earrings. So I can't just wear one. I got to wear both. So I got to wait for that one to heal. Um, so if you don't listen or if you don't want to listen to me, um, please do not listen to me. If you know you don't like me while watching me, okay, it's, you, it doesn't make any sense. Find something else to do. And there's so many other terrors out there for you to read. And if you read terrors and you watch other terrors for all the wrong reasons, you know, all I say, um, I keep you in my prayers. And I damn sure keep you just like this. I, I, I literally keep you like this because people that don't want the best for other tarot readers, they got a problem. And if you spend your day and your time talking about another tarot reader, you got issues. All right? Something is wrong with you. It seems like something that you don't like that you want from someone else. So I send all the blessings to all the tarot But we got tarot that readers that just trash other terrorists for no reason and something's wrong with you okay um know that that is not what it's all about i'm not better than nobody no other terror and i don't wish no other terror no harm okay i don't get nothing out of it but for all those who think i'm a witch and do whatever you want to think and maybe you from one of those new orleans and all that side where you believe in this and this all you got going on darkness that's on y'all but baby, I speak truth. I got my third eye and I got, okay, the evil eye back to you ten times folds. I'm not going to say ten times folds. I'm going to say a hundred times folds. Okay? So you already know if you live in them dark worlds and you see me, you think I'm dark. Ain't nothing dark about me. All right? And I'm talking straight up to you. Actually, I don't even watch them because I block them. I, I, they watch me. I don't watch them. I block them. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, you are blocked. Okay? This is the walnut bath that these people, really, some of y'all need to purchase. Some, some people that watch me that don't like me, they need to purchase this walnut bath so they can get that evilness out of them. And if somebody is practicing something on you and you think they are, get that walnut bath. That is way better than the salt bath. Okay, or any other bath I own. Um, I got all kinds of herb bath, all kinds of um this right here comes in a powder form, um, and it comes in a liquid form. I got um stones. This is the watermelon stone. If you know anything about your stone, Google it up. Okay, I do not play, I am geared up from head to toe. Okay, and I mean I'm geared up all the way, all the way geared up. 
Okay? I don't play. I'm like ready. Ready for whatever is coming this way. I'm ready. Yeah. Like, what's up? I got the third eye on my head, honey, and I'm ready. Third eye ready. That's what I do. I have the third eye right over my head. Okay? Right over my head. That third eye sits right there. And I'm ready. That's what I'm talking about. I don't play. All right? Um, now, as you know, the symbol to Pisces is this. Okay? The symbol is upside down. Okay? So. All right, Pisces. Let's get down with the reading. Um, yesterday was a full moon. And like I said, I hope that you did everything you had to do. Um... And that you're truly blessed. I did not answer calls yesterday. Um, because I learned to respect the full moon. And when the full moon is out, I'm humble as hell. I don't play. I'm very quiet. And today is Easter Sunday for all those who go to church. And today the churches are packed like this. Like, you know, people are worshiping. Easter Sunday, and it ain't nothing wrong with you doing that. But why don't you do that every Sunday? Every Sunday, the church should be packed if you go to church and you believe in what you believe in. Honey, it don't matter what you believe on Easter Sunday. It don't matter. It's a feast. Do you know why you feasting? Do you know what your gathering is about? Do you really know the meaning of it? Do you know that you know, it's a lot of people that have family members in hospitals and also in nursing homes and all that. Do you visit those people? They're the people that need to be visited. They're the people that need to be visited. The people that are in, in institutionals and all of that. Visit them people. They're the ones that need to be sat down with and know that they got family and people that love them. Okay, don't forget those people. They're there. All right. So um, I go visit the grave. My mom. My mom is not in the grave. She sits up high. But I visit her yesterday, and I had a good time with my mom. Yes, I do. Always do. Um. So. If you have time out of your busy day, visit visit the person that don't have somebody. Um, acknowledge them. Okay? The same way you can spend time with people that don't mean nothing to you. You can spend time with those who really need you to spend time with them. People forget that one day they're going to get old and one day they're going to be in nursing homes and one day they're going to wind up in the hospital and one day they're going to need somebody but they don't acknowledge that and so they put that last and put others in front of that. And so I wish my mother was here and my father. Okay. My mother always had big things at her house and all her kids and all of that. And I'm going to tell you now it ain't no shame in my game, you know. I didn't spend holidays and all of that home because I've always been a loner, okay. I didn't make no big feasts because I always ate as I ate every day of the week. And that's just the way I've always been, okay. So let's start the reading. I wish y'all all a happy Easter and that you have everything you want on your table and that you're celebrating with, with your loved ones. Okay, and if you can help others, then help others. If you can give somebody else a plate, then help somebody and give them that plate. Okay, all right, Pisces, let's get going. All right, so I don't know what I never label no readings. I don't know what God is going to tell me to tell you. So I don't focus on what the reading is and label it before I do it. I do it and then I label it because I don't know what the meaning is going to be. All right. Now, let's see. 
All right, Pisces. All right. Tell me what Pisces need to know on this lovely Sunday. Tell me what Pisces need to know on this lovely Sunday. Huh? Somebody here. <coughs> Excuse me. God bless me. Somebody here is going through a breakup. Um, maybe not you, maybe the other person. Um, somebody here feels a pain. Some type of hurt, and this hurt can be coming from anything. It could be coming from a breakup. It could be coming from just you feeling some type of way. We don't know, but the clouds is on top of this. It means that somebody's really thinking about a separation or someone went through a painful um, situation involving three swords. Okay? So... Pisces, I don't know. Um, maybe the shoe is on the other foot now. Maybe they're going through what you went through. I don't know. Uh, like I said, take this if it fits you and let the rest behind. If it don't fit you, if you ain't break up with somebody and you ain't do this, then it ain't for you. Don't even put it in there. Okay? Tell me what else I need to know about this. Oh, uh-uh. Look at all. No, no, sorry. Look at this. Hell, uh-uh, uh-uh. All right, let me shuffle again. Whoa. All right. Tell me what it is about this three of swords. Tell me what it is about this three of swords. Tell me what it is about the three of swords. Tell me what it is about the three of swords, spirits. Tell me what it is about the three of swords. Tell me what it is about this three of swords. Pisces. You are, you are, is this these cars? Okay. You are, um, you, all right, so this is already the past, and the sky is almost pink and blue. I feel like you was crucified going through this. You, maybe you've been in the, your thoughts about this, or maybe you thinking about, you're not being with somebody or they thinking about you or whoever this is, they really had you in this mode. But I feel like you you, you know, you you seen the light. You seen the light. And whenever you look at the hand of man, baby, you're not stuck at far from being stuck. The sun is shining on you. Bright as heck. Okay? Bright as heck. And just like they crucify God. People will crucify you. You ain't. If God went through it, who are you? Who are you, Pisces? You know what I mean? Like they, they. You understand? God went through so much for you. But who are you? Even though this person did whatever they did to you, please don't crucify somebody. Don't crucify them. Let it be. Let it go. Move on. Are you stuck about a situation with you in the past? Does this past haunt you? All right. Um, let it go because somebody is going through it. And Pisces, at this time, you really went through it. And that's all I got to say. And people are in different places, but people don't forget where they were at. And so it ain't nothing wrong with not forgetting where you're at. But be easy on yourself, because when you're easy on yourself, you're easy on the situation, okay? Somebody here feels like somebody stabbed them in their back and left them for dead. So Pisces, somebody had you on a third-party situation, and you feel like this person stabbed you in your back and left you for dead, okay? Um... And I don't know, but maybe you knew or maybe you may not know. Um, some some Pisces probably don't even realize that the person, that this person left you for, you probably knew. Or some of y'all don't, but I don't know. Um, 
you know, I, I just see a lot of hurt here. A lot of hurt. And it came from a third party. And you feeling some type of way about this whole situation. And the thing is, the more you think about it, the more you see it like that, the more you can't move on. And that's the, what I'm trying to explain to you. You must stop thinking about this and think better about yourself and do better for yourself and stop being so upset over this. Honey, listen to me. I'm telling you, I am you and you are me. I've been through this too, but I'm not going to be... Yeah, I'm going to say something because I'm human. At the beginning, I was pissed, angry, and all this. But I'm not feeling like that. I'm not going to let nobody take over me, how I feel. No, I'm not going I'm not going to allow that anymore. I'm moving on with my life, and that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to move on. And I'm not going to continue to keep thinking negative shit that I went through because it's nothing but holding me back. Okay, and I need to be happy, and I cannot be happy if all I think is about what they did and how I want to treat them and what I think about them. Who am I to judge somebody? Who am I to put a sword in somebody's back? No, uh-uh. I let it go because I'm not getting up from it. I want good energy, and I'm not bitter and angry at nobody. If this person was to come back, we could talk. If this person wants to reach out to me, we can talk. If they text me, I'm going to text them back. I'm not, I'm, first of all, I will say I blocked someone, but this last person I was with, I never blocked them. I don't have no, I mean, I'm not bitter, angry. People make their own decisions. People do what they want to do. If I sit there and be angry at them, then I'm angry at my damn self. How can I find somebody that's going to love me when I'm so angry at this person? When this person ain't even in my life, I don't even see them. Even if they reach out to me, you still got a way to do shit. You need to do it the right way. You need to be grown about it. Not immature. Somebody do something to you so you wait till they down so you can do it. No. I don't know. I don't know how this person is doing. I don't know what they're doing. Who they with. Who they ain't with. I don't know. But I tell you no lie. I don't wish them no wrong. No, no, I don't because I know that God will take care of everything. And that's what you need to know. If I made a reading about all this craziness, you, uh, uh, honey, you would be stuck on that. But when I do a reading about shit that you need to get right within you, then it seems like you don't understand it. Okay, but you need to understand because it's about you, not about the situation. Okay? And that's what I'm trying. You go see a shrink, honey. I'm doing a free reading for your ass. You go do a shrink. And they're going to tell you the same damn thing. Okay, stop sitting there killing and worrying yourself and thinking you're doing somebody wrong because they did you wrong. The world goes on. You're the only one that's bitter. Damn, people get that karma, believe in me. You don't want to sit there acting like you're happy when you're not. You know? Again, somebody here really puts you in a third party. This person drunk a lot. They got beer bottles all over the place. When they get drunk, they probably want them sloppy drunks or whatever. I don't know. Um, you got this person looking at everybody. This person just a hot mess. So if they a hot mess, then let them be a hot mess. Because apparently it says third party right here. And then it's showing you again third party. Isn't that crazy? Check this out. It says a third party. And even though this is six of cups, look what it do. Third party. This person ain't thinking about you. They think about everybody else. All they want to do is drink, drink, drink. And mess around and see other people. Let them do that. Why the hell are you going to get bitter about what they're doing? Let them do whatever they want to do. That is their priority to do whatever they want to do. And... You know, whoever this was that was in a third party and all of this shit, and they did all this shit to you, they thinking about it, right? But it's something here that needs to be amended, right? Something needs to, here to be forgiveness for what this person did to you. See, this third party 
hurt you in the worst way. This person is drinking, carrying on, and all of this. But now this person knows they're looking for forgiveness. They want to be in a new friendship. They want to rebuild. They want to care. But it's, it's, um, it's something here that um, is um, a reconsideration with people from your past. Harmony. And that's what I say, so that your life can be in a better place. The inner child in you, get to know the inner child in you. The self-future is everything, okay? Future self. And that's what it is about you. It's about you growing from the situation. And when you grow, so do they. They know what they did wasn't right. They know everything they did. This person probably got a, dick, a drinking problem. Okay, I was getting ready to say a dick problem. I don't even know why that was going to come. But it's like you are at peace with your past. And that has brought you to where you are meant to be. A better understanding restores trust. A situation becoming peace, peaceful. Accepting, bringing back happiness into one's life. Okay? Improvement issues are addressed and dealt with. A coming to terms on the situation, bringing peace and harmony. I'm going to keep saying it again. And that's what it's about. This person know they did you wrong. This person know they were seeing other people. This person know they have a drinking problem. This person know they like to get high. This person knows they got whatever kind of problems. They got sexual problems. Um, eyes wondering. Um, partying. Oh, this person knew they did you wrong. They don't need you to beat them up any more than what they've been beat up by. By karma. Okay? They don't need you to beat them up. This person already know. But while this person do, did this to you, you have to go on self-love mode. Now, hopefully you're doing that work and not still worrying about whatever, whatever. Okay? The king of pentacles, this man wants to, maybe this person never help you with nothing. But now, the king of pentacles is someone coming what money? They got money on the table deciding on giving you an offer. Giving you this offer. Okay? Coming with money. Coming with giving you something. Offering you something. Maybe helping you in a way that you never um, had that help before. Because, see, you're going to be in a situation here that you're going to be stuck about a situation. About somebody wanting to offer you everything but you're going to be stuck in making a decision about the king of pentacles and um pisces scorpio cancer showing up and the king of pentacles capricorn Taurus, and Virgo. tell me about this uh ten of swords tell me about this ten of swords baby tell me about this ten of swords tell me okay the ten of swords oh you got the Ten of Swords and you got the Ace of Pentacles. This person wants to come back and give it to you. Okay, give it to you. And what does this say? Let me see if I can see this, what this coin says. Something about... Amor... Um, it's got it's got a lady with wings and I gotta look this up so when I get done um, or maybe this says I, I don't know what that say but I need to know what the, what this means honey because this right here is saying something I, I don't know what it says let me see I just need to see what it means here. Okay. I have no clue what that means. No. Well, it's a, it's a man, and it's a, it's in a um. 
I don't do Bible verses, but it's so it, it says it's in a Bible verse. Isaiah 1.1, 2.2, and 13.1. That's what it said on it. Um, and in 2 Kings 19.2, 20, 20, and all that. It says it on it. I don't know what, what that means. Child, Isaiah. All right. I have no clue because I'm not getting into that, especially reading this. I don't know. I have no clue. But tells of confrontation. Um, I don't know, but okay. But it got a coin here, and it's you got the king of pentacles, and then you got the ace of coin. This is pretty big. So this this person, whoever this person was, in your back um, that had this third party is wanting to, or whoever it is, reconsiderate. You've been working on your past, but it's somebody here that you're gonna have to make a decision about that wants to offer you money. And then you got the Four of Cups. Again, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. And um, and this has got a lot to do with money and feelings, okay? Money and feelings. And that's what it got to do, Pisces. Um, It's like this person is offering you something here, right? But... You sitting there like, you know, you don't know if, it's like, I don't know, maybe you missing an opportunity of abundance. Maybe you don't see it. It feels like maybe you are, you don't want to change this or um, it's something here that's going to come to a mutual understanding. Um, something here is going to change, all right? Um, a time to stir things up and break away from routines. Maybe you need to get out more, meet people. Um, uh, stable may bring a lack of vision and a motivation. Um... Maybe you are, maybe you miss out on this opportunity for abundance, a time to meditate. Maybe you feel frustrated and bored, being um, a bit unappreciated. What you have, okay? You, it's like, I don't know, it's like maybe this person is coming back or whatever, wanting to offer you this these coins. Maybe that's not the person, you know, you don't want to be with that person. You don't care if they come and offer you coins or whatever. When you wanted the coins, they didn't offer you the coins. But now they want to come and offer you everything. I feel like this separation was um, a lot about somebody with habits and not helping you. With habits, and I mean habits of drinking, women and all that. Um, And y'all broke up or whatever for all the way they treated you. But this person here is realizing um, that they wasn't really doing shit for you. Not a damn thing but bringing you problems. All right? But this person has it, has it to, to give it to you. Because it looks like they're showing up now with coins and everything. All right? After doing everything they did to you. After they did everything they did to you, now they want to come right. And I don't know what the hell that means. But Pisces, I don't know who this is for. All right, tell me more about this Six of Pentacles. And the Six of Pentacles can mean you coming into your own. These cards fell just like this. Oh, uh, damn, this is a reading by itself. So look at this. The Four of Pentacles, somebody holding on. Look at this. This person drunk everything, did everything to you, but never wanted to give you shit. Look, look at them. Hiding they shit like just fucking somebody might be half all, all losing some hair on their head. Maybe somebody 
is going bald or got patches of being bald or something. But they, that motherfuckers hold their money for dear life. They ain't want to give you shit. Um, the will of fortune moving on, moving, moving. You know, you you definitely have known this person for a minute. You this this person here, you have known this person for a while. It, it ain't like you just met him. This person went. You know, this happened in a cold, and now it's in the summer. But this person, no, they they really did you fucked up. They really did. And now they sitting there with all they shit, you know, wishing, you know, like shit, trying to see if you're going to help them out. Somebody here probably had got a flat tire. Somebody's car's not running. Somebody's trying to, you know, the will is dead. I mean, you got one will with a, with a big ass, you know, just sitting there. Like somebody is just sitting between making decision of where they was and where they are. Um, but I see um, the sun is coming up. So whatever it is that you went through with this person that you have known, it's like you cracking that shell. And it's like you have coins and you have known this person. This ain't nobody you just met. You have known this person. You have known this person for a while. You you really know this person, and that's no lie. Maybe this person is younger than you, but you have known this person for a while. And I won't say that this this whole thing here. Maybe um, but you know this person because it, it, it's not telling me kids. It says you know this person. All right. So whoever this person was that put you in a third party, or whatever, um, they know what they did to you. And, but this person was not a given person. This person was very controlling. This person was trying to control the will of fortune. This person, it, it, he was just too much to bear. Um, but you know this person, but this person want to give it to you. They want to give it all to you. They want to move on about a situation. They want to give you coins. And you got a lot of coins here. A lot of coins. They want to balance things off with you. Okay, somebody here wants to balance it off with you. You got a lot of coins. Somebody wants to come back and balance it. Somebody feels, you know, like they just want to give you what you want. Ooh. All right, now. Um, tell me about this King of Pentacles. This man is really is coming. Oh, my God. All right, so these cards came out. Alright, so the first card that I, that I see is smell the, the princess of cups, somebody younger, somebody with smelling the flowers, maybe this person, somebody, the two of one, somebody, oh you know what, well it's too late, somebody here um, smelling the flowers, somebody want to work with you. Okay, somebody wants to work here, something out. This person wants just to work. Is these the same cards? Oh, no, they're different. Okay, somebody wants to work something. Is this? Oh, yeah, they are the same cards. I want to get, all right, but it's too late. All right, somebody here wants to work something out. All right, somebody here's in love. All right. Um, I feel like it's like young love. It's like the beginning of love. Partnership. Commitment. Wholesome. In trust. Multiple underst mutual understanding. A decision is made to move forward from a heart. From the heart. A bond. Okay. A new awareness. An understanding of others. A mutual cooperation to a common goal. All right. If somebody here wants to just give you, somebody wants just wants to give you this. All right. All right. Um. Then you got here, Pisces. 
you got the night of cups. And I'm telling you, it's somebody, I don't know if they're younger than you, they act younger, I don't know, but they're coming to you, offering you this cup, and this person's happy to offer it to you. They see you like the moon, and there ain't nothing here that's shining bad about you. You looking good as fuck. But this person feels like this, and I don't read upside down, but this, this ace of cups came upside down. Maybe this person feels like you're not going to accept them, you know. They feel like there's no more nothing there burning. All right? They feel like you don't love them. All right? So, all right, tell me more, tell me more. Tell me more about this reading. These cards, uh-uh, these, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. So, somebody here feels like you, all right, wait, all right, I don't know. You got the, okay, somebody here feels like you walking away, you, or you, or they walking away from maybe you, or they walking away from a person here or something. Um, they want to offer you the King of Cups. Um, they don't know how to move forward. But the Nine of Pentacles, like, shit, this person really is picking up their crops. They want to come right to you. Maybe somebody here. Maybe they're walking away from somebody to come to you to give you it all. All right? Pisces. I like I said, I gotta fix these cards because I don't I don't read reversals, but since them cards came out like that, I read them, but I don't do that. And you want to hear something? If I don't find another reversal here, then it was meant for me to read them like that. Um, because all these cards are sitting straight up, and that one came out like that, so I guess it was meant for me to read that. I don't see no more reversals. In this whole deck. So the cards was flipping out like that. So yes. They wanted me to say exactly how they see it. So. You had somebody coming to offer you everything. But you are all in your head about this. Because you feel like this person. Um, doesn't really care about you. You know. They, they, they come and act like they care. But they don't. But this is what you think to yourself. Then you may be pushing this person away from you. All right, because you don't want this. All right, you somebody is walking away, um, but this person loves you and they want to give you everything. All right, but you're not sure, Pisces. You're not sure about what you want. It's like you don't know if you want to continue moving forward with this person or what. I don't know what it is. I mean, you don't want to continue something with someone. Um. But here it shows the Nine of Pentacles. This person is doing very well and will do well. And when that person comes and says, I want to offer you everything, that person ain't lying. They want to offer you everything. But maybe you so stuck on whatever you stuck on, be careful because you may be missing on the opportunity because a way you act, the way, and I keep saying, you may be missing on an opportunity because for some reason, you're being very cold. And Pisces, I am you. I've been through the same thing you've been through. You know, I've been hurt, been left for dead, been thrown out of the house, everything. But you know what? I'm not holding nothing against nobody. I really ain't. I, I mean, I don't know about y'all, but I'm not going to stop my blessings for whatever happened in my past and hold that against somebody. I'm just going to live my life and whatever it is and move on. I'm not going to be nasty to nobody. I don't have no reason to. I'm alive. I'm, I'm well. And I'm not going to hold that back on nobody. I don't know what you're doing. But you need to get your life right. Because if you don't, you're going to miss on opportunities. Because of your way of being. Right? So, this keeps coming out, so that means you got everything in front of you. Happiness and abundance, but 
You're not going to have it all if you got this attitude that you cannot get over. Okay? I'll talk to you later. If you need to read and get it from me or someone else, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.